Hello everyone, today I want to share with you 5 tips how you can be better front-end developer in your communication, in your speed, in your whatever. So just how you can be better, let's jump into it. Today we will talk about hard skills, because everyone understands that HTML, JavaScript, CSS is definitely like required skills for every front-end developer. And to have them on like advanced level, it's just, just required. It's not something optional, you know, it's just required. So, and today we'll more focus about soft skills. What kind of like specific skills you can have or you can improve to become more comfortable to person to work with, to communicate with and person who can deliver just more faster results for, for business where you're working. So first of all, it's all about planning. I suggest you when you come into your working desk every morning, just take a small piece of paper or maybe open your Trello board or Jira board, whatever, and just try to structureize all your tasks in one list. After that, put how important all of them and start from most important at the beginning because in the morning we are fresh we are full of energy and we are ready to have new challenges or maybe you have some specific bug which you can't resolve for a long time maybe for a few days and you like you know trying to fix it but it's not fixed yet start with that like crazy task in the morning because you are you're having more energy to finish them uh, always, I saw that um, junior developers, they are like making the list of tasks and after that they started like to switch in them. So they, they started to work with the first one and afterwards they're like, oh, I cannot fix it. And they jump into the second one and it's like, you know, it's going to down. And in the end of the day, they just didn't do anything like at all. They didn't finish it anything. So I suggest you to go one by one for each task and complete them, after that to switch to the next one. The second point is about communication. Always ask if you don't understand something and please don't be afraid if your team uh, don't take your suggestions, you know. Uh, always happen is that one time we as developer we're like, oh hey guys, maybe you can improve that one and team is just rejecting our improvement and we're like oh we're feeling so bad and after that we're like okay if you don't want to hear my suggestion i will not give them and it's not right definitely it's okay that your suggestions isn't taken uh, for like for scope of work but please keep doing them because it's what will make you better front-end developers than other like 90 percent of uh, other developers also, it's important to make all your communication in a nice way, even like through emails. And often I saw that developers, oh, I will just type like shortly, okay, it's done or whatever, without saying like hi, without saying have a good evening, whatever. And it's kind of base, even like for every employee in company, and developers, some of developers are like hating it. It's like, oh, I'm not manager, I will do that. I will just send it that it's done to manager and he um, need to make all communication, but it's not right. If you want to be the top, like in top 10 of developers, you should take that responsibility. You should write down that emails in a nice way, like, hey, John, how is going on? I saw that it's nice weather in New York City. After that, give like a short update and after that finish like, oh, I wish you an amazing evening from sunny Berlin, Alex or whatever. And in that way, of course, your customers or your team will become more motivated and just imagine when they like in the evening will get such a mail or um, they're like, oh, they will, their mood will just become better, you know? And if you want to be in the 10% of developers who are just amazing, you definitely need to do that. The third point is about being transparent. Don't give the wrong expectation for your customers and for your teammates. If you understand that something is not possible to complete by tomorrow, or your team is pushing you to say, oh, it's need to be done by tomorrow because we want to push it in new release, but you understand that it's just not possible, 
don't say yes. Having a power to say no is also required for that like 10% of best developers in the world. If you can say no, it means that you understand what you're doing and of course in that way definitely team will more appreciate it and you will sit together and you will try the solution how it can be done, you know? But don't say yes when you understand that it's no. And what I saw often is that less experienced developers, they are less transparent because they are afraid of uh, their knowledge and how it's working, basically. Um, you're asking, um, oh, you can do that, or do you know that technology? And less experienced developer will say, yeah, I know the technology, I did like a few projects and whatever. Uh, because he don't want to look like not experienced person. And more experienced person, even like it can be like 10 years plus, to say, no, I don't know that technology. And it's the difference of experience and not experienced developers. Not experienced developer understand what he know and what he don't know, and he cannot be like afraid of that he don't know something, because he understands that it's a big world of development, he knows some pieces, but he definitely cannot know everything. So say no and be more transparent. The next one is about keys. Keep it short and simple. And it's connected to all puzzles of your work. It's connected to your development. Don't overthink your logic. Don't uh, whatever, name your variables in some strange way or whatever. Because for example, if you're speaking as a marketing lady and you say, oh, I don't know how to reject that promises, it's not the right way how you should speak with your teammates who are not tech, uh, who, who don't have a tech background, you know? So make it simple for them and say, oh, the task is not done because I have some problems with backend in integration and I'm waiting uh, whatever guy to help me with that one. It will be more simple and of course people will understand you better. So in all ways, Keep it simple and short. And the last one is about design feelings. We as, as front-end developers, we definitely are working with UI UX stuff. We are putting the elements, we are adding the colors, and every front-end developer should have that kind of feelings, which is nice, which is bad. And for that one, you can read some books for for design, or you can, for example, take a look on some series, call it uh, Abstract on Netflix, uh, an amazing one, it's just kind of general uh, series for different people from uh, creative field, but definitely you can like, enjoy it, highly recommend it from my side. By the way, if you are looking for an amazing team to become part of, or you're looking for an amazing front-end developer who can work on your products, uh, you can take a look on our website, our codes, uh, maybe we can help you with that one. So I think we have covered all main topics and it's time to make a short summary. So keep everything simple, be more transparent, write a nice email, think more about how you communicate with other people, think more about your user and to wh why basically they should see that design, not any other one, into their eyes. And yeah, I think that if you will improve that um, pieces of, of your work, you can become definitely more successful and, be, and have more fun into your work, you know? If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, you can go ahead and do that right now. We'll really appreciate it and uh, definitely you will not miss any other videos in future. By the way, if I miss something and you want to add your own tip to my uh, puzzle of a successful front-end developer, definitely go to comments and I will be happy, really happy to answer all of them. So let's make a discussion. Have a nice day and talk to you soon. Ciao.